The 2016 to 2018 Harley Davidson Iron 883. When Harley Davidson makes changes to the Iron 883, they stay faithful to at least one important aspect, performance. While XL models have never been known as fast bikes, they certainly have a well-deserved reputation as quick bikes. Nothing in the Harley world comes out of the hole like a sporty, or handles the corners like one, and the Iron 883 maintains that tradition with aplomb. Bikes like this show how the XL line has not only survived, but also thrived in the entry-level and sport-minded American markets. Harley-Davidson Iron 883 Design Harley took the blacked-out look to the north degree, which plays into the custom look and ironically, this seeming lack of frills is actually a frill all its own. When the folks at Harley-Davidson introduced the K model, direct ancestor of the XL, or Sportster line, back in 1952, I doubt they could have known they were birthing a genre that would still be thriving over half a century later. Yet, here we are with the 2019 Sportster Iron 883 that pays tribute not so much to the factory, but to the custom touches added by owners over the ages. Overall, the Iron 883 has a drag-centric vibe that is hard to ignore. The drag bars and mid-mount controls form an aggressive rider triangle that puts the rider into a slightly forward-leaning stance, a perfect cornering position if you like, to take your curves with a little mustard on them. Typical of the Sportster family, the lines are rather bunched up to fit within the 85.8-inch total length. The fuel tank emulates the classic look of the sporty peanut tank while squeezing another gallon or so in there for a total of 3.3 gallons. Let's face it, peanut tanks are cool to look at, but they just don't carry enough fuel. The upper lines manage a little flow down the tank and across the rolled leather that sort of pimps out the otherwise mundane stock Sportster seat, which is more comfortable than the smooth sporty seat. The chopped rear fender adds to the dragster vibe while leaving a good view of the rear tire. Turn signals, front and rear, use LEDs to keep the units as small and unobtrusive as possible. The taillight is so low profile it looks more like a strut reflector, or it does when it isn't lit, anyway. A sideways license plate holder mounted on the left side keeps the fender clean and the top line unobstructed at the rear end, plus it makes the Iron 883 look like a worked over custom bike right off the showroom floor. Harley took the blacked out look to the north degree. Even the shock springs and turn signal housings got the treatment, leaving only the- To read the full article, check the link in the description. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.